Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Senator Elizabeth Warren supports the DOJ's antitrust investigation into NVIDIA, while non-farm payrolls show unexpected growth in August but still miss forecasts. The Nasdaq drops 2% as the S&P and Dow also declined amidst ongoing growth concerns following a mixed jobs report. Harris donors are reportedly pushing for the removal of FTC's Khan and SEC's Gensler, according to Bloomberg. Dell Technologies and Palantir are set to join the S&P 500 index, even as EPS growth for the MAG-7 decelerates per NDR reports. Big Lots is rumored to be filing for bankruptcy this Sunday, and Nippon Steel along with U.S. Steel are working to delay a CFIUS decision on their deal. Stay tuned after this short ad break to learn more about these headlines. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren supports the Justice Department's investigation into NVIDIA over potential antitrust violations. She urges regulators to address NVIDIA's dominance in the semiconductor market, warning of economic risks. Despite reports, NVIDIA claims it hasn't received a subpoena and asserts its success is merit-based. Shares are up 123% year-to-date. U.S. non-farm payrolls rose by 142,000 in August, up from July's revised 89,000 but below the 160,000 consensus. The unemployment rate fell to 4.2 percent. Wages increased by 0.4 percent, and average hourly earnings grew by 3.8 percent year-over-year. Construction and healthcare saw job gains, manufacturing lost jobs. Traders now expect a possible Federal Reserve rate cut of up to 50 basis points on September 18 due to weak job growth data. U.S. stocks fell sharply Friday. The S&P 500 had its worst week since March, and the Nasdaq Composite dropped 5.8%. Treasury yields declined after a mixed August jobs report raised concerns about economic growth and Federal Reserve rate cuts. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 1%, while 10 of 11 S&P sectors fell. Major Democratic donors on Wall Street want Kamala Harris to replace the heads of the Federal Trade Commission and the Securities and Exchange Commission if she wins. They argue FTC's Lena Khan is too tough on tech, while SEC's Gary Gensler is unpopular. Donald Trump also plans to fire Gensler if elected. Dell Technologies and Palantir Technologies will join the Standard and Poor's 500 Index later this month, replacing Etsy and American Airlines. Erie Indemnity will also enter the index. Dell shares rose 6.9%, Palantir gained 7%, and Erie moved up 3.2%. Changes take effect before trading on September 23rd. Earnings per share growth is slowing for most of the magnificent seven stocks, except Tesla, according to Ned Davis Research. Amazon, NVIDIA, Meta Platforms, Alphabet, Microsoft, and Apple are seeing declines in EPS growth this quarter. Tesla bucks the trend with a 35.5% increase in EPS growth. Big Lots will delay its Q2 results until September 12th. The company is reportedly preparing for bankruptcy and plans to sell stores under court supervision. Shares have plummeted 94% this year amid declining sales and liquidity issues. Nippon Steel and United States Steel are seeking to delay a decision by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States regarding their $14 billion deal, which may soon reach President Joe Biden. U.S. Steel CEO David Burrett is negotiating with the United Steelworkers Union, while Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro aims to preserve jobs. The Biden administration might block the deal due to national security concerns. Shares of U.S. Steel rose 4.3 percent as Cleveland Cliff CEO expressed interest in buying U.S. Steel assets if the Nippon deal fails. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. And we'll see you next time with more essential updates. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow dawns, take care and goodbye for now. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. 
This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.